my wife here with her, so I hate her, can't tell her. President uh, sweet, got uh, the fuck, boy, uh, jealous. I'm the Nelson Mandela of Atlanta, don't tell her. Hey, I'm a, I'm a goddamn savage. Eat with no hands, I don't even use napkins. Mug says number one bastard. Hi, everybody, how we doing? Fucking today. Fucking all my names. Fucking. <laughs> yeah, I love what Chris said last time. I remember Chris said in one of the reactions we had Chris on recently. Um, he just lets him do his thing. Yeah, I, said, I love how he said it. I love how, how Sandal just sits back and just like watches you and lets you do your thing, man. And he just watches really like, he said a word, a really interesting word, like intentively or something. <laughs> he said a really interesting word. Yeah, he said, he said it was an interesting <laughs> he word. He said a real interesting word, yeah, to, to describe the way I, I observe your... Um, uh, no, I'm not going to say that. You know what's an interesting word to me? Pussy. Why? Because it, it's a cat, but it's also a vagina. That makes it real interesting. Because you got to decide which, which pussy does he mean. Like what about mean, a cat's vagina? What do you call that? That's a pussy's pussy. Pussy? <laughs> <laughs> With Jungle B, it's Australia's plug to the You Should Not Watch reviews in the country. <laughs> And we're reviewing one of the best hip hop duos in the world, Run the Jewels. Oh shit, we ain't doing. You hear that? <laughs> That's the sound of everyone unsubscribing. Oh wait, we have no, we don't have an audience anymore. Oh okay. Uh, they got oh, a new yeah. track. I love Run the Jewels. <laughs> They dropped one of the best albums of 2016, 2017. Also, our favorite review that we've done. Unless you've changed. I never said it was my favorite review. Really? You said it was your favorite review. You just, I said it was one, it's one of my favorites. It's my favorite we've done still. Yeah. So just, just because of how strongly we really react to it. Yeah. It's just such a pure reaction. Mm. Um, so we'll link it up for you guys. We're talking about Run Jules 3. They got a new track. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna just. That's fucking dope. This gonna be good. symbiote the fuck yeah. is that yeah it feels like i'm like walking through like an army just getting all my guns getting all my weapons and preparing for a boss fight you know why this is from the venom soundtrack well it doesn't necessarily mean that's what it depicts well i'm just saying it's quite fitting for a movie where there's going to be some type of boss fight a villain mm. hero and anti-hero not necessarily he could be fighting himself well, suck my dick how about that because Venom, Eddie Brock's all about fighting himself most of all. Because oh. it's Eddie Brock and Venom, and they're always like clashing with each other. Okay. okay. But you're right, there probably is a boss fight. There's probably a boss fight. It's a superhero movie, man. There's probably a boss fight. <laughs> Who are you like? A, like a fucking Italian, you're like, uh, yes. Yeah, they can't get to me, man, because they don't understand what they get to us, Donny. Do you think they can kill me? Hey, fucking kill them, bro. Oh, that's how you was at, bro. Really good track, fucking yeah. amazing. LP and uh, Killer Mike put on a great performance once again. I would have liked to see that kind of more how they interchange between lines. One, yeah, like, that's probably the only missing link for me. Um, but they both stood out and shined well. I don't really catch many of the lines. It sounded quite political, once again. Right, that would make sense. Um, yeah, I fuck with a really dark production, super dark, but still super banging, and. 
Flow's on point, energy's on point. It's what you get with them. This could honestly be in their last album and it'd fit in perfectly. Well, you know what? The essence of the music actually came from a trailer trailer that LP submitted for the Blade Runner. <laughs> Sorry, trailer. Was, this was going to be in the Blade Runner 2049. 20... 2049, yeah. yeah. Fuck year it is. Um, <laughs> yeah. They ended up not using it, but that kind of sound, that sonic, has this kind of futuristic vibe to it, right? Mm -hmm. It's like kind of spacey. I think maybe when they did it for Blade Runner, they were like, yo, this, this song's too good not to use on an upcoming movie. So Yeah, they contacted him asking him for it. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Look in the eyes of the villain and the villainous. We are the murderous militants. We heard oh. lines like that before from mm. RT3. We are the pirates and hide on the island. Vade will be wilding. I love that oh. that pacing they have yeah, when man. they rap. It's just so... A lot of people were like... There hasn't really been an artist like if you if you don't haven't listened to Rage Against the Machine. I know people have requested you listen to them. That they were like very rock inspired and very political, and I honestly think that Run the Jewels is the closest thing you can get to Rage Against the Machine. Obviously, they're not like him. That's why they work with Zach De La Rocca a lot. But um, I feel like that they're just, they're just so similar in the way that, what would they rap about and their mindset around things. So it's so refreshing to have artists come through that are very similar because we need that in music. I don't. Agreed, we do name them music. They play an important part with that. Mm -hmm. But I don't see any political lines in this track. It just, um, it, it seems like they're depicting themselves. So, like, yeah, it, it's just, uh, yeah, it's not about that. Um, back from the bellows of the hell, back from the back of the jail and the cell, kind of like depicting themselves of as like these characters and braggadocious characters that are pushing their way through the world um, in some way or another. But I love this track, man. I can't wait for the next project. Same, man. And it's probably going to be Christmas time this year to fuck up the list once again. Oh, 100% around the jewels. We look forward to it, man. <laughs> we Jungle Beats. This track is fire. Oh, <laughs> 